Steve's just going to give us a quick cap, recap of uh, Saturday's show up in uh, Leeds where we had uh, a six fight card, didn't we? Yeah, it should have been a seven, but uh, you know, the last show we did there um, kind of fell apart and we ended up only like with three fights and exhibition out of seven. This one we lost the top of the bill and we had a couple of opponents pull out in a week but we managed to save them so uh, wasn't as bad as last time. Uh, turned out to be a, a reasonable show, I wouldn't say it was a good show but uh, it would have had the top of the bill. It'd have been yeah, a great show it because it was a rematch and we knew it was a central area type of fight where it was two even kids and the last time they went the, the 10 rounds together probably done it the same so uh, we, we was denied that and that, that was a shame. Um, it was a medical reason was it or something? Yeah apparently he couldn't get his medicals through, through in time. Um, we only found out really on the Wednesday before the Saturday so it was, it was, it was quite annoying but um, as, as you know, we've lost the top of the bill for this Saturday as well, and uh, Echinomides has just pulled out for the week, the week after as well, so uh, we're having a bad run, which um, is part of boxing, and it doesn't just happen to us, it'll happen to everybody else, and we're doing our best to, to get everything right. But going back to last, last Saturday briefly, I don't want to go on too long, because we're going to talk about the Liverpool show. Um, Kicked off with Josh Argreaves against Carl Sampson, which was a uh, little fight. Uh, yeah, nice little fight. Carl Sampson obviously uh, he decided to, to, to go on the road. Uh, very capable kid. Um, to, well, you know what he showed in that fight? Because Josh is a, an absolute nightmare. He's a right little terror. He's, he's on you all the time. But I thought that Josh, um, Carl Sampson, showed really good feet because he didn't oh, pull. Yeah, he, yeah he, he's difficult to hit, isn't he? Yeah. he, he he'll, he'll be a top, top journeyman, him, yeah. And then uh, Hassim Rayman against Lee Devine. Fair props to Lee Devine for hanging in there and, <laughs> and did, did getting it. through. Uh, Hassim looked really good. Loved the way he, he switches the angles, me. I think he's, he, he's fantastic, yeah. Uh, Levi Smith, his first fight for um, well, VIP. We brought a kid over from Spain. Again, that was touch and go. He ended up missing the plane in Spain and getting a, a coach to Lisbon. I picked him up from Manchester Airport at 12 o'clock and drove him to the, uh, the way in for 1 o'clock. So, uh, fair props to, to him as well for. Uh, doing that and, uh, and coming over and he was a tough guy, he took some pasty off Levi, he, um, he was impressive, you know. I think he hit him with every, thump, every punch he threw, wasn't it, and the variety was wonderful. Yeah, yeah, I mean obviously he'd been out of the ring for a while, but he, 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 uh, he, he, looked, he looked a good prospect and uh, I'm looking forward to, to building things with him. Jake Goodwin got three out of three win with a, with a tough Jordan Gannon test and uh, yeah. He looks a lot he, better than he has he, done, yeah. He's had some of the toughest uh, journeymen out there and dealt with them comfortably, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's uh, coming along in the right way, yeah. And then, um, the, probably the only disappointment of the night was his Mal Mally Wright. Um, you know, uh, Mally, uh, for, for whatever reason, coming way over on the, uh, the scales the day before, and it's shown his performance on the night, and uh, he got a draw with Debbie St. Louis, Louis Palmer, which obviously with Mally's pedigree in the amateurs and Lewis Palmer's having none, it should have been a comfortable win for Mally, but it uh, ended up uh, he had to fight to, to, to get the draw. Um, lessons will be learned fr from that and to be honest with you, I, I took the decision of uh, getting Lewis Palmer back um, for, for Mally on the, the big lead show, the Josh Warrington, so we have a rematch on there. Yeah, the, yeah. To be honest with you, uh, Mally's just going to have to um, put the wrongs right on that night and uh, hopefully he can do, but again that Lewis Palmer, for somebody who didn't have any amateur uh, experience, uh, He's looks, a, nice boxer, looks a recent, recent, decent kid and let's have it right, Mally's not going to have his own way on the, on the, uh, the big lead show, but you know, if he wants to do in boxing what he keeps saying he's going to do, <laughs> he's going to have to uh, deliver, yeah. um, and I'm sure he will. And then what ended up being the top of the bill, Callum Simpson, um, 
one round ball. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. He's a big beast of a fighter, isn't he? And uh, yeah, he blew the kid away in, 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 in a round, even though we were probably the last punch of the three minutes of the first he, round. He dropped yeah. him in the middle of that first round, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, prior to, yeah. The, to the second yeah. knockdown. And the kid had a funny wobble. I didn't think he was going to get up. I've not <laughs> seen one like that before. But yeah, so it ended up not, not a bad night. It's not as good as I wanted to put on at Leeds. Uh, yeah, we're going, really there. We're going there again in May. Uh, fantastic venue. Uh, good atmosphere. We put together some great, um, what would you call it, you know, lighting and PA system. Yeah, you know what I mean? Good so good uh, we, we make it look the part. And, uh, nice little you know, walk from. Yeah, yeah, everything's everything's good about that venue, isn't it? And uh, you know, I'm sure we'll get a full show. It wasn't a most bad night by any stretch of means. And do you know what? We've got our props on our backs for pulling that show off because there was a lot of things going wrong, but um, we managed to to do it. And uh, I don't know what other pro promoters, small or would 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 have dug in like we dug in to make it happen. But we we've done it, and the same old shit. Let's move on to next Saturday. Um, for all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.